Hi kids, welcome to Digital Class in Rich Course, a platform to recall your previous knowledge and strengthen your basics of grammar. This is AMJ Sheila, teacher of English, ZPHS Baswapur, Kohira Mandal, Siddhapet District. Before starting the class, I would like to ask some questions regarding a sentence on the screen. Look at the sentence. Radha is wearing a beautiful rose. Let us analyze the sentence. What is the word Radha called here? Yeah, you're right. It's a name. Names are called nouns. Okay? And what does the word wearing indicates here? Yeah, exactly. It indicates an action. So, there are more other specific words in the sentence which come under different categories. So, the words are categorized into different types according to their functions and uses. Such division is called parts of speech. Let me ask you one more question here. What is the word is in the sentence? Yeah, it's a helping verb. Yes. So, today I am going to teach you about verbs and helping verbs. The verbs are defined as words which shows an action or state of the noun in the sentence okay let's observe these sentences here lalita writes a letter here the word writes indicates an action let us see another sentence raju is a doctor which is the verb here yeah you are right is. It's actually a helping verb. But in the absence of main verb, it's acting here as a main verb and it indicates the state of the noun. Look at the third word in the sentence. Ravi is playing. As you know, the word playing is a main verb and the word is is a helping verb. In this sentence, the word is will remain as a helping verb in the presence of the main verb playing. Helping verbs are also called auxiliary verbs. So, we understood that some of the helping verbs perform two functions according to the usage as a helping verb as well as as a main verb. So, you should also notice that helping verbs are two types. Some are flexible of having two functions. They are normal helping verbs or normal auxiliary verbs. Whereas, some are rigid in their nature and remain as helping verbs only. Such are called model auxiliaries. Let us now focus on the tables of the main verbs and the helping verbs. First let us see the main verbs. Main verbs are categorized into regular verbs and irregular verbs looking at its forms. Regular verbs are formed by adding D or ED in its past forms. Irregular verbs form its past forms by changing the verbal. For example, walk, walked in regular verbs. Eat, ate in irregular verbs. So, here we understood one more thing that the verbs also can be divided into four types 
according to the tenses v1 v2 v3 and v4 v1 is the present form of the verb v2 past form v3 past participle form which is used in the perfect tense and a verb for that is progressive form which is used in the continuous tense okay let us see the table of helping verbs or auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs are two types normal auxiliaries and modal auxiliaries that is normal helping verbs and modal helping verbs normal auxiliaries are three types be forms that is am is are was were be been and do forms do does and did done have forms has have had whereas modal auxiliaries are the four pairs can could will would shall should may might must need dare and ought to okay children are you clear about them now yeah refer some sentences and practice them okay some of the examples i wrote a letter now you can identify the verb here the main verb that is wrote and the second sentence she has a pen what is has here yeah it's a normal auxiliary can you do it third sentence what is can here yeah can is a modal auxiliary and do is a main verb here fourth sentence you must attend the online classes yes must is a modal auxiliary and attend is the main verb baby is crying is is a helping verb that is normal helping verb and crying is the main verb I think I have given some idea for you. Refer a good grammar book and practice the sentences. Okay kids, time to take a leave now. Thank you. Have a nice day.